main menu or wherever you have your home page, click on home, and then on the right hand side there's some parameters that you can play with. And that's just just one of the things you just gotta know and that's it. There's no tricks or anything. Okay. Any questions about content? And we believe it or not, just look at text type of contact. Content, I'm sorry. We haven't looked at videos, haven't looked at calendars or anything else. We just covered how do you create the simplest type of contact content possible. Simplest text about your business that should be as clear to your customer what you do as a right day, right? Um, okay. So I want to talk about templates for a few moments, okay? What you see here is a template. It's a free template. It's put out by a company called Joomla Shack. They also make commercial templates. Um, this template is very simple. It doesn't have any drop downs, for example, in the menus. Uh, it doesn't have a lot of fancy stuff. Um, you can edit the title, I mean, your, your logo up there very simply like that. But this is a template. Okay, we have other templates. A couple of them come with Joomla by default. Not this one, but a few others. If you go to your back end, go to extensions, and go to template manager, you will see what's installed. Okay. We all, we've added two, Lime, which like you said, it was, it was cutting off the side of it, so don't use it right now, and Optimus Free, which is what we are using. The other three come with Joomla. Bees, Purity, and RHUK Milky Way. These come with Joomla. Whenever you install it, they're there. Okay. Nobody really uses them for live sites, but you can certainly play with them. If you want to change the template, you click on this, the button next to it, and you make it the default. Go back to the home page, refresh, and it looks very different. Templates control the look, but all the content is still the same. So is it getting, getting home a little bit in terms of content and, and columns and templates? Yeah. No? OK, hold on. Okay. Then, then. So what we did, we just have the same content. We didn't touch it. It was the same article, one on the top, and two at the bottom as we defined it. And, and the template was changed on the back end. And how, how do we change the template on the back end? Somebody tell me, I'm going to start from control panel, and Jay, tell me how to change the template. I know, give me some hints. You can look up there, I'm giving you a hint too. No, I got it. Okay, you set it as default. So how do I get, the, how do I get, to, how do I get there to set it as default? Extensions, template manager. I don't know if this would help anybody. Sometimes to, um, you just use different words for the same thing. For example, when you say content, a lot of people think in terms of data and templates or presentation. So you're, you're, you're describing. Well, we're actually, there's a separation. Template, that's, that's the separation. Templates are different than the data and the content of your website. That's, that's the separation between them. So the other thing you can do with templates, all we just showed is you went and you changed the template that was the default for the whole website, and you saw that instantly everything looked different, but all your content was the same. Does everyone follow that? OK. And there's lots of templates out there in the world that you can look at and install. And we'll go into that. So right here, if you wanted to, there also, each template has its own set of parameters, things that you can change about that template fairly easily without editing CSS or anything else. OK? So you click on that, and it's going to show you what the options are for this. In this case, for example, if I choose to use a graphic, don't do this. If I choose to use a graphic and click Apply, it's going to show the graphic that came with this. Optimus, the web is yours. That's the graphic that comes with this as the logo. Okay? Um, if I choose to use text, it's going to use the text that's below. How do you select your own graphic? It's kind of a pain in the neck. Okay. Um, Right, there's no way to pick it. It's, it's kind of a limitation of this template, the way it's set up. But generally, you go and you find where the old graphic is, and you replace it with something of the same name. And that's the easiest way to do it. Okay. Or you take a template which has better options for this. So this is, these are parameters of the template itself. Each template has its own set of parameters. Some templates have a list of colors. You say, I want this template to be red. And, all of a sudden, everything will be red instead of blue. This template does not, but those are the kind of things you'll see on the back end. This one does have some options for the, the size, so you can change it to a fixed or a fluid width. Um, you, can, you can change the width of the columns, which is kind of cool on the left and right-hand side. Okay, these are options. Every template can have its own set of options. They can all be different from each other. Okay. In general, once you choose a template and you're happy with it, you're not going to be playing with this. 
The main thing you're going to do on your website on a regular basis is update content, and that's what's going to be important. So in the beginning, you're going to set stuff up. You're going to play with stuff. You're going to check different columns. You're going to play with templates. You're going to be, oh, I like this template. I like that template. But once you're set on your template and everything, you're pretty much going to be working with content. Okay? And all this is just going to be you know, extra stuff that you know about that you don't deal with on a daily basis. Okay? So templates, we're going, to, we're going to be, we're using JS Optimus for today. Now, when we go to the front end, if we want to show the module positions, and what are module positions? They're places where you can stick modules. How would we show the module positions in this template on the front end? Question mark, equals TP. Question mark TP equals 1. This is an extremely handy thing. It's actually on the list of stuff that you have. There's that URL. It just says you do question mark TP equals 1. And it shows you all the positions that are available, whether you're using them or not. Okay. You don't need to write it down because we have it in the list. Okay. So this shows you that there's a right template position and a left one. You can put more than one template, more than one module inside a position. For instance, there's two modules on the left here, right? There's this one and that one. These are two different ones. This, in this case, top is where the menu is. Okay. And there's a footer. So something you might put in the footer might, might be your address, for example. It might be you know, um, a menu item. You can even have a menu in the footer, like a little menu, like maybe your privacy policy and your you know, site policy and your you know, contact or guests again. All those things you could put in the footer. Okay. So this, this, when you do question mark TP equals 1, it's showing you the module positions. Those are places where you can publish modules. Does everyone understand what a module position is? It's just kind of a placeholder where you can stick things. Okay. So we're gradually moving from content, which is anything you would have created regardless of Joomla, anything about your business, right? Uh, your business provides financial services regardless of what kind of website software you're using. Are we there, right? You should have, and next time maybe would have, come with information about your business that you would have written down without any kind of attachment to templates, Joomla, or any other animal out there. Are we there? Okay. So now that you have created this content in your mind or only you know, on a piece of paper or in a file, we happen to present Joomla to you as, as a great way to put that content out there to the world. Are we there? Okay. So now, we're bringing this beautiful front end face to it, or design, that you can plug your content into and present it to the world, okay? And what Joomla provides you with is a beautiful face that you can nicely so change, right? We just change it to a pinky template, or prior to there was a red one, right? Mm -hmm. That you can change faces relatively painlessly, relatively, not quite, but relatively. And within this template, you can organize stuff that you just wrote, you know, text about your business. You can also organize some additional nice modules. And what I mean by this, remember we talked about dynamic sites? Instead of having just the text that you wrote, Joomla provides you this way to plug functionality in and provide interactivity to your site. Are we together? Okay. So we came with text, happy with financial services or something else, regardless of what Joomla does. Now we have Joomla with a beautiful face, we plug text in, and we have options. We don't have to use them, but we have options to bring additional functionality in. Is everyone on the same page? And uh, I'm sure with Christine, does that now make sense a little bit more in terms of text and templates? Okay. Now, in terms of your text, because Joomla is so nice to us, we can organize text as just one article, or we can organize text as snippets of text in case if you have more than one, so that you can let your user click and find more information. Make sense? Okay. So from here, I'm, I think tomorrow we'll talk about modules. Mo modules and then menus so that it kind of starts coming together.